Okay, bye guys. Where are you going? No, where are you guys going? You he right here. Bye guys. We keep our clothes on. Bye guys. I don't mind where it was we get. Okay, mom. Yeah. Please, don't, mom. Don't put the tongue out ever again. Come on, mom. Let's go, mom. Yeah, please get your mom. Please get the tongue out. Whoa! Did y'all see Sophia? Sophia? She's in the way. Whoa, Sophie, you really You will be in the video. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tia Louise. For those of you that don't know, and if you do know, you're returning. What's poppin'? How are you? So today for this tea talk, I wanna talk about something that we've all experienced some form or fashion throughout our life. And that is <clears throat> comparison. Listen, comparison really does kill, okay? Comparison kills dreams. Comparison kills aspirations. Comparison can kill friendships. Comparison can kill ministries. Comparison can kill so many different things. And so in this installment of Tea Talks, I want to talk about debunking, comparing yourselves to one another and literally just living out your God-given purpose, okay? So there's this saying that I say all the time, and if you follow me on social media, you've probably seen me put it on a post here and there. Um, it's been a caption at one point in time. It's literally my motto to life. So think T. Louise, think this quote, okay? You don't compete where you don't compare. I'll say it one more time. You do not compete where you do not compare. Period. One of the reasons why I think that this is so important to remember um, is because each of us have our own special calling. Each of us have our own identity in Christ and each of us are unique. And the moment that we start comparing ourselves one to another, we diminish what it is that God has so specially designed for us. Um, I've always felt like each and every person's differences and uniqueness was just so cool to experience. Um, I love different people from different cultures and backgrounds and things like that and people that have accents or that are country or, you know, just come from a different walk of life than I do because you get to experience and learn so many different things. Um, and if we sit here and we try to become the next person, Where's the individuality, you know? Where is the spice? Where is the the newness, the freshness? Where is the innovation? It, it, it becomes diminished. I think in not comparing yourself one to another, we have to remember that the moment that we start trying to compare ourselves to somebody, we're also saying, hey, I wanna take on everything that you went through to get to where you are now. I want to take on every single trial and tribulation now because we are all individuals that doesn't mean that we'll have the same outcome right so maybe what i went through it didn't kill me but if you go through what i had to go through exactly you might not make it out you know the same way that i made it out or vice versa and so once we find the beauty in individuality and realize that everything that we all go through is tailor made for us specifically, we will then not get into that cycle of comparing ourselves. The Bible talks about us comparing ourselves one to another and it is in Galatians 1.10 that I wanna read a scripture to us about. And it says, for am I seeking the approval of man or of God? Or am I trying to please man? If I were still trying to please man, I would not be a servant of Christ. And for me, I have to remember that in all that I do, I am not trying to please man. Like I said, the saying, you don't compete where you don't compare, is basically my life motto, okay? Um, one of the things that is super important to me is individuality. 
I believe that we are all unique. We are all special. We are all simply ourselves. And the beauty in being ourselves means that we bring so many different things to the table. I love my friend group um, specifically because we are all different, right? We all bring something super cool to, uh, to the table. And if we were sitting around comparing and contrasting ourselves with one another, we literally wouldn't get far, okay? If I was sitting there thinking, oh, I need to be like so-and-so, or I need to be like blah, 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 blah. In that same breath, we have to remember that when we say that, we're saying we also want their trials and their tribulations. We're saying we also want everything that they had to go through to get to where they are right now. And because we are unique, and because we are our own selves, and God does not force himself upon us, who is to say that we would have made it out, you know, all right, if you were to get my trials or if I were to get your trials, you know, like there's just an unknown factor in that. There's a parable um, about how two people can have the same type of job, but they will get to a solution or a resolution completely different because the way our brains work and how they operate, we think completely different from one, from one another. So when it comes to comparing ourselves to each other, why is it that we find ourselves doing more comparing than we are just being our own individual selves? Why do we feel like we can't just be who we are and that be just enough or more than enough, okay? I have to get to a place of comfortability within myself. I'm not going to see things the way a lot of people see things. I'm not going to respond to certain things the way a lot of people respond to certain things. I'm not going to react to certain things the way certain people react to them. And it took me a while to get comfortable and confident within my choices, within my skin, within who I am. And because of the uncomfortability that I had to surpass and go through, um, it has gotten me to this place where I am now, where without a shadow of a doubt, you could do literally what you want to do in your corner. I'm going to also do what I want to do in my corner because I believe so strongly in individuality, in uniqueness, in being special, in being one of one. Um, because that is exactly who God called. God called and created us equally and he created us so special, right? He took his time with each and every one of us. I would be doing a disservice, you know, comparing myself to someone else. I would literally be telling God that he didn't do a good enough job when he created me, when he made my brain think the way that it thinks, um, when he made my brain, you know, think a certain way or when he um made me react a certain way or you know whatever the case may be yes my mom just texted me we are literally telling god that he made a mistake exactly literally we are telling god that he made a mistake that he didn't know who, what he was doing that he had it wrong that he thought about it different we do not need to tell the author of it all the creator of it all that he made a mistake when he made us okay so if you are struggling with your individuality, if you are struggling with just being your own self and being confident and strong in who you are, literally, I want you to sit down and write out five different scriptures that are helpful for you that can be affirmation type scriptures, like speaking into who you are and whose you are, um, ones that are speaking into your situation and your life, ones that is telling you that you are a child of the king, that you are a natural born leader. And even if you're not a natural born leader, you can grow to becoming a leader. I believe so strongly that we are literally able to create our, our world. We are literally able to change the, tra the trajectory of a bad situation or a bad scenario. You don't have to be whatever bad has happened to you. You can literally switch and flip certain things. And in the process of that, literally become your own individual self. So um, I want to leave you guys with this. Be sure to show love. Be sure to always show love to yourself, to be kind to yourself, to speak kind to yourself. I know we live in a world where we are some self critiques, okay? And it is okay to, you know, want to be a certain way and to want to show up a certain way. 
I don't want to tell you don't, you know, hold yourself accountable at certain times. For sure, do so. But don't beat yourself up, you know. Show yourself some grace. Cut yourself some slack. And literally be loving towards yourself. If you can't be loving towards you, then nobody else will. How will we know how to love you? How will we know how to treat you? How will we know how to take care of you if you don't show us how to do so? So no comparing yourself to others because you don't compete where you don't compare. And simply what that, what that phrase is meaning is I don't compare to my brother or my sister because I am my own individual self and they are their own individual selves. And I do not compare against them, I do not compete against them. I can be in my own excellence and my own power over here, and they can also live in their own power and their own excellence as well. We can coincide, we can coexist. Literally two leaders coming together is something super powerful. We have to stop getting intimidated by something or someone that we think we are inferior to or we are under or they are superior. Literally show up as your best self, rock it out and keep it pushing. Literally nobody can be you and nobody can duplicate or do the things that you can do. You have to remember to trust in yourself, have confidence in yourself, have confidence in God, and literally be your best. So I love you guys so much. Um, thank you so much for tuning into this week's Tea Talk. I hope you liked it. If you did, please leave a comment. Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Leave some tips. Um, or tricks down in the comments for those that also might be struggling. Also leave other topics that you guys want me to talk about, please. Um, I'm totally open for suggestions and different things like that. Do you guys wanna see special guests on my page? Um, different, different things like that. Do y'all wanna hear my mama come talk? My sister, my brother, my friends, what's up? You let me know. And just a little friendly reminder, at 500 subscribers we are doing a giveaway and so I would love 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 to hit 500 subscribers before the end of the year that way it could be like I'm giving you guys a Christmas present as the giveaway um, but that is only contingent upon us actually reaching the 500 goal so I love you guys so much be sure to like comment share and subscribe share this with a friend and I will see you guys next time bye